Okay, today we're going to talk about GPIO. Uh, here I have the uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, this is the uh, Raspberry Pi B, the version 2. It's the newest one. I uh, just got it. Um, I'm going to do some uh, GPIO. Um, there's a slot here, there's a, a header here for GPIO. Right next to the uh, video port, right next to the uh, video port. Yeah. Damn it. Here you go. That's the uh, RCA video output. Right next to it is a header that you can plug in a uh, a uh, connector, and you could get those from uh, Element Fourteen Newark. Dot com and um, they sell those for like three dollars I think um, what I did was I took a uh, an old uh, ribbon cable from uh, the old floppy disk drives and uh, hard drives that one is from a hard drive it's a 40 pin connector I mean it's a It's a floppy drive connector. It's an old floppy disk drive connector. So it looks like this. Okay. It's one of those very old ones that uh, we're not using anyway. I might as well butcher it and use it. This is a uh, IDE cable that connects to an IDE hard drive, external hard drive. Um, so. What I did was take one that has two ends. This one, this is a short one here. This has a... Right there was a... Took it apart. Uh, this end here was once like this. And I just took the uh, head apart. Uh, assemble this way. And I just, yeah, just took it apart. So I just pulled it apart, just used a screwdriver, no real science to it, just pry it apart. It's hooked, it's hooked up here. So just unhook it and just pry it out with a screwdriver. And then the uh, ribbon cable is uh, connected to these pins here. And uh, I would just, just peel them right off. And then just plug it right here. Um, pin one is, uh, let me show you, pin one, pin one's on the top here, okay, there's two rows, and, uh, the top row is, uh, so the top row right here, that, that's pin one, pin two, pin three, four, five, six, up to 25 and 26, okay, so that's what I did, uh, so after I took it off, I stripped some of the wires here, just peel it off, and just strip some of it with a you know, knife, and uh, just plug it in here, just plug in, and um, have one of those uh, solidus, uh, solidus uh, circuit boards here, and uh, or there was wire to a uh, LED here. LED and a one kilo ohm uh, resistor. So when it's on, Okay, so uh, I'm going to send the command. I'll show you the command later. I'm going to send the command to switch on the LED. Okay, and uh, send the command to switch it off. Okay. So, what happens when it's on? Let's measure this. Okay. 
I'm just gonna show it to right there to show it to you. Uh, it's zero volts and um see so three volts on it's actually three point three three volts on yeah uh, the LED drop the uh, voltage a little bit so on and hit the switch type in the command uh, zero to switch it off on off okay and all those switches on and it goes both ways it can be input or output and that's easily done by command prompt so what you should do is uh, so let me just clear this and then show it to you now on screen um so yeah you can use this for home automation um use it to switch your lights on and off or you can use it to sense uh, whatever like if you have a, a motion sensor or whatever you can use that directly with this and uh, so let's let's see what's going on here So, maybe it's such a far so you can see the entire commands being put in. Uh, just clear all that. So, first thing you, you got to do is um, raise the. Oops. So, there's a command called echo. And uh, it's echo, uh, the number seven, which would be uh, GPIO seven, which is actually on the board on the uh, connector that is actually pin twenty six. Okay, uh, GPIO input output number seven is pin uh, twenty six. So I gotta do that. Then I gotta put in uh, echo. Uh, I'm gonna call that um, out. Redirect to sys. Sys. What is? Uh, GPIO. GPIO four. D R E C T I O N. And uh, it's actually seven, not four. And then I gotta echo one, two, six. It creates a, a, a temporary file, a virtual file. In uh, sys, anything inside of sys is actually uh, uh, not a real file. So when you reboot your computer, sys will be emptied out. Or if you take out the hard drive and put it in uh, another computer, sys and proc and uh, some of those folders are completely empty. Because those are virtual file systems that don't actually exist on the hard drive. They're only on temporarily. So, class uh, GPIO GPIO seven. That should switch it on, and it does. So it switches it on. Okay, 
one switch on and of course zero to switch it off okay and then when you're done you want to clear that out echo uh, 7 for GPIO 7 and it's sys class GPIO and it's unexport export and it just clears it out So that's it. That's a uh, demonstration. And notice uh, I'm doing it all in, in shell. So um, there was absolutely nothing needed to, uh, no, no special programming needed. Uh, just GPIO, uh, just, just shell commands. Okay, so there you go. So once again, um, you can just echo uh, commands, pin number, or uh, commands whether it's to redirect uh, a specific GPIO to go input or output. So uh, the, in my example, pin, I mean, um, uh, the GPIO uh, 7, uh, or any of the uh, GPIOs can be set to on to uh, output or input and that's 3.3 volts and I think the uh, maximum output is 3 milliamps each of those for a total of about 50 milliamps max um, so these are signal only you shouldn't really be powering anything uh, that's the reason for my use of a, uh, a resistor here, a one kilo ohm resistor here, so that it doesn't take up a lot of power. And you can see the LED was only glowing dimly, and you can hardly see it. Uh, LEDs are very efficient, especially these indicator LEDs, low power LEDs. And uh, no software was installed. I didn't install any kind of uh, special uh, software for this uh, GPIO uh, it was just done it just it just works I didn't, uh, didn't install anything um, so that's what it looks like it's just a connector just a connector and um, so again this is pin one here, let me see if I can zoom in. Here. Okay, so pin one, two, three, four, five, six, up to twenty five and twenty six. This is GPIO seven. GPIO 8, this is the ground, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can find that information, you can actually, well, you can Google it, but um, you can go to um, here, which is uh, elinux.org, which uh, I think everybody knows. Um, so it's elinux.org, and you can search it on uh, Google them bother writing it down, just search for uh, uh, Raspberry Pi uh, GPIO and it tells you all this great stuff. So don't bother writing the URL, it'll probably change by the time you see this. Um, so search it. Um, so what I was messing with was uh, GPIO 7, which is pin 26. And I connected a, a, a resistor from here to an LED and then to the ground. Very simple and greatly simplified, these guys. This uh, Raspberry Pi it, uh, makes things much simpler. Extremely simple.